tried in vivo with human, uh, no, sorry, in vitro with human cell types. What cell types have you tried? Have you tried like neurons and heart cells and like all cell types? Uh, we, we have tried a variety of different cell types, uh, mm. really a lot, human cell types and human cell types that have been naturally aged in the sense that they have been isolated from, from elderly uh, individuals. Uh, this is very important because aging, as we know, is a very complex phenomenon uh, and uh, it cannot be simplified. It needs to be studied in its, uh, in its complexity, in my opinion. Um, yeah, we have tried a variety of different cell types, uh, uh, dermal fibroblasts that were derived from different parts of the body, endothelial cells that were derived, for example, from arteries or, or, or veins, chondrocytes, muscle stem cells, mesenchymal stem cells, different cells of the, of the eye, blood cells. Um, uh, and so in all of these instances, in all of these cell types, ERA has worked successfully. Uh, and so... Yeah, so we, we we have been trying a lot of different cell types, and I can say that you know the same cocktail seems to be working across uh, all of them. I I seen that you've you've talked about using the cocktail using ERA to reduce the age of stem cells rather than somatic cells. Is that like the correct term for yeah, normal cells? Um, so can you talk a little bit? So how would that work? Would you take the stem cells out, you make them younger, and then you put them back in again, or you you uh, make them younger inside the body? Yeah, but both both are are true in the sense that uh, if we if we know how to obviously doing this outside of the body is is simpler, is easier, uh, provided that you know how to isolate the stem cells, keep them in culture, expand them, multiply them, and so forth. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, for example, in the case of muscle stem cells, we have been successful successful in, in doing so because we know, thanks also to another to another um, um, IP that that turn uh, owns exclusively and that was developed by one of the co-founders of, of Turn, Marco Quarta. Uh, we know how to isolate the, the muscle stem cells from the from the muscle. We know how to keep them in culture. We know how to expand them, and we know how to preserve their stemness, which is their capacity of giving rise to all the cells of the, of the muscle. For other, cell, for other stem cell types, you know, this is not possible yet because we still need to understand and figure out how you know, this process of isolation, expansion, proliferation happens. Mm -hmm. Because every, every cell type, every organ is in a way very unique in this, in this regard. Um, and so for those, for those uh, organs or for those tissues in which we know how to isolate the stem cells, we know how to expand them, we know how to, uh, to characterize them, this process of ex vivo uh, mm -hmm. rejuvenation is uh, probably the, the first, the kind of the low hanging fruit in a way, because it allows us to target those, those cells and put them back into, into the organ they, they came from. But of course, the vision is uh, to bypass this this process and being able to <clears throat> to target the stem cells where they are in the organ in the tissue in the body how do you do that by for example again once you know where they are and once you know their chemical you know the, the, the chemical features of their membranes or their features in general you can you can develop uh, solutions to specifically target them uh, in vivo in the in the body this video is brought to you by Bioptimizers. Magnesium is a crucial mineral for hundreds of reactions in the body and impacts everything, including sleep and muscle and bone health. It is difficult to get sufficient magnesium through our food. In our efforts to remain fit and healthy, my wife and I frequently exercise, after which it's important to recover well and get restful sleep. To help us with this, we chose Magnesium Breakthrough from Bioptimizers because it blends all seven essential forms of magnesium into one effective supplement, while also using all natural ingredients and being gluten, soy, and lactose free. It has improved our recovery and sleep quality since we've been taking it. And we're happy to tell you that Bioptimizers are offering a 10% discount for magnesium breakthrough to modern health span audience. Just go to www.magnesiumbreakthrough.com slash modern or click on the link in the description to get a 10% discount with coupon code modern10. Thank you for your support. 
So how would that work or would that work in cases where you have long lived cells like uh, the brain, right? The brain does not build new cells generally. So would you be able to do that or would you have to rejuvenate the existing somatic cells? Well, uh, ERA, ERA has worked successfully in both the stem cells and in the so-called fully differentiated somatic cells. Um, so uh, I haven't tried yet, we haven't tried yet in, in neurons, right. uh, but um, I, I think actually probably the neurons <clears throat> are fr from a biological standpoint are probably even um, kind of better to target. Because since they are post mitotic, what does that mean? It means that they are not cycling. Mm -hmm. It means that they are way more resistant to pass beyond the point of no return. Mm -hmm. Because the point of no return is also uh, a function of the cell cycle. The more the cells divide, the higher is the chances that they can actually go uh, beyond the point of no return. Neurons, heart cells, or any other cells which is... Uh, by definition considered post-mitotic, which means they do not divide, are more resistant to that process of, of reprogramming and more it's more unlikely for them to go beyond uh, the point of no return. So that means that from a safety standpoint, they're probably you know, a, an even better uh, cellular target to, to, to rejuvenate with air. Um, so okay. more work will follow, but you know it, it is very likely that actually the neurons and heart cells are, are gonna be are gonna be even a better target for for air. So, so my understanding would be that you would have like two different, I guess, arms ways of doing this. So one would be to rejuvenate the stem cells, and and this is like the end point where you're aiming for is there. Would, one would be to rejuvenate stem cells, which which would then repopulate the organ, and one would be to rejuvenated somatic cells kind of in situ. Exactly. Speaking of rejuvenating organs, so within kind of the mouse model, how, how far have you got in terms of rejuvenating? Have you rejuvenated an organ, like made a, a liver, a young liver, or any, have, have you looked at that? Uh, not the liver, but oh. uh, we, have, we, have done, we have done this, for example, in muscle. Mm. By rejuvenating the stem cells of the of the muscle in mice, mm. we have shown that we can bring the entire muscle because again, the muscle stem cells regenerate the whole muscle because that's their function. Mm. We have regenerated the whole muscle to the levels of uh, a, a youthful muscle. So we did this experiment where we took. Uh, a, um, stem cells from a 24 months old mouse. So a 24 months old mouse is a very geriatric mouse. Okay, it's like a 90 plus years old uh, uh, human being. Okay, so we took the stem cells from that muscle. We treated them with ERA for just 48 hours, so a very short period of, uh, of uh, or a very short treatment, and then we transplanted those stem cells into a 24 months old recipient so that you know the donor and the recipient were of the same age okay we could show that by doing so so by treating the aged stem cells with era that, that was sufficient to bring the strength of that whole muscle after the regeneration to the levels of a young by young i mean 6 months old mouse so if you compare the two the two ages it's like bringing back the, the strength of a muscle of a 90 years old human being to the strength of a probably 40 30 40 years old human being which is pretty significant and that was ex vivo so bring it at bring it that out that was in vivo followed by the transplantation in mm. vivo into into the animal yeah